that didn't go well at all. I still can't seem to motivate my staff, and even worse, Lauren just gave me a huge talking to. She didn't say it out loud, but I have a feeling like if I don't change things soon, I could be looking at being fired. Joan knows that she needs to improve her management style if she hopes to not only motivate her staff and turn her department around, but also keep her job. So I think you both probably know why we're having this meeting today. Our department blew past another deadline on Friday, and upper management has noticed. Why are we having trouble meeting deadlines? Is there something we need to be working on? What do we need to change? Thanks for another great meeting, guys. We've met all our goals for the year, and winning this NCS Department Recognition Award was a total team effort. Yeah. Hey, Joan, how are you? How have your first few months at NCS been going? Not too good, Bill. Oh, no, what's going on? <sighs> Maybe I'm just too new at this. As a first-time manager, I'm having a hard time finding out how to motivate my staff. <laughs> Yeah, well that's understandable. You can't become a good manager overnight. It takes practice, learning, and a little introspection too. Well, you seem to have learned the trick. Do you have any pointers for me? Of course. Do you want to go grab some coffee at Kawa? You look like you could use the break, and I'll give you some advice that I learned from some great managers I used to work with. Thanks so much. NCS Inc's organizational structure is tall and is high in terms of vertical differentiation. The firm's decision-making power is fairly decentralized, too, so department managers enjoy a great deal of authority over their departments, which means that Joan can learn from her peers and is free to make any changes to her department that she needs in order to improve. So, tell me a little bit about your management style. Well, I like to be tough, no nonsense, and focused on the job. I just tell my employees what to do and when to have them done, and just expect them to do it. Well, what happens when the employee's work overload is too heavy and you give them another task? Do they feel like they can come to you? Are you usually flexible with them? Well, well, no. They've never talked to me about their workload. I just give them the tasks and the deadlines and have them get to work. Yes, but your department has been having issues meeting deadlines, right? Do you think that could be part of the reason? Well, I never thought about that. But that still doesn't explain why they're so lazy and argumentative. Okay, well, let's, let's think about that. And let's talk about your employee's strengths and weaknesses. We'll do something like a SWOT analysis and see what we come up with. Through Bill's SWOT analysis, Bill and Joan realize that Krista and Nicole aren't lazy, but maybe they just need di direction in a different way. Since both are in their mid-20s, they are still new in the workforce. They can be hard workers, but they get easily overwhelmed and discouraged if they don't have timely feedback and direction. They need reassurance in their work and constructive criticism in order to help them complete their tasks and keep them interested. Joan's demanding style and lack of flexibility and feedback wasn't serving them at all. So, it sounds like you're focused on the managerial function of controlling, but that doesn't seem to be the best management style for your department. A decisional role is not the only one that managers play. Tell me about it. Wow, I had no idea I was causing or contributing to these problems by not considering their feelings and workload. I can't believe it. Well, now that you've taken the first step of realizing the problem, you can change things. But is it too late? I think that they hate me. This is the only management of style, management style I know. Your department doesn't hate you, but they might feel frustrated. It's definitely not too late to make a change. I think you should look into using the organizing function of management a bit more and playing an interpersonal role. Well, how do I do that? Well, now that we know what your employees' strengths and weaknesses are, start asking for and incorporating their feedback into your decisions. That way, they feel useful and you can find ways to help that will make the whole department succeed and feel like a team. That's a great idea. I think I'll start doing that.